So every time Epic releases a new version of Unreal, I get a bit worried about uh, what things will break in my rig. Uh, we all know that that feeling when you open a project and everything's just red and, and not working. So I thought it would be a good idea to actually do a run through of a, what actually happens in the real project. So I'm using the project from my Contra rig course, which is a Seagull rig. And that was done in the 5.5 version and I'm going to open it in the 5.7 version and see what were the changes or if anything breaks or not. I genuinely haven't done this before so let's see what we find out. And for you that don't know yet we also have a discord channel um, and I'm going to put the link below here so it's for technical animators and everyone that's interested in this areas and the videos that I produce here and we the idea is that we help each other and if you have any questions you can share with the group and hopefully someone will be able to help you and yeah that's it let's go to the video okay so I have my Seagull rig project here and I have 5.7 uh, installed and if I go here and show in folder so if I right click here, it's just showing me open, but then if I go show more, show more options, I have switch and real engine version. So let's just switch to 5.7. Sorry, I have my tea here with me because <laughs> I don't know how long this will take. Um, and then, so we have to double click. So we already have a failure to import starter pack. Okay. Project file is out of date. Would you like to update it? I'll just leave this for now. Let's go straight into the control rig. Just try to move things around. It's like it does look like everything is actually working. Let's just have a look here. No warnings, no red texts. If we just dump this here and see if it actually works. Yeah, surprisingly, <laughs> seems like everything is uh, working absolutely fine so then what I'd like to do as well is just I just go to the release notes of the new version and I go through and see what changed in character animation there's a lot of uh, retargeting um, blend shape and sculpting tools there's this world collision which seems uh, quite interesting uh, but contrary they basically just did an update about um, the about the modular control rig and then there's a couple of retargeting things but I thought this was cool selection sets animators need quick access to multiple selections blah 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 uh, so to create a set to select controls so let's have a look at that and see what we find so if I have a character here if I go to sets I can just have this atami here. Let's say I want the sets to be all the wing controls, let's say. Elbow, elbow, wrist. And these ones as well. Um, add set. 
left wing. So then now let's say I click on this one, blah, blah, blah. If I click on this one, ah, oh, cool. Yeah, you get all the selection and you can easily just keyframe them. And I said there was a way to mirror as well. Create a mirror. Let's see if it right wing. Let's see if it actually works. Oh wow, perfect, yes. This is really cool. And then what else do we have here? Hide selection set, show selection set, isolate. Interesting. Show all. Just hide this one. Here's a color. And key selection set. Oh, very interesting. I think this tool is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's my overview on 5.7. Uh, not many big changes, which is uh, really good. Um, see you guys next time. Bye.